This is my 97 Kawasaki Ninja project. Yesterday I checked the stator and rectifier. It works. Um, I went ahead and checked all the fuses. Everything's good and we got continuity. I also checked the... Where'd it go? I also checked the CDI box. There's really not much to check, but I do have continuity from the CDI box down here to the coils. I did test, where are those? I tested both coils. I saw a little trick. You just hook one end up to a D-cell battery and tap the other into it. And if they spark, they should be pretty good. Um, to test the rectifier, you want to take this apart. You want to stick your positive on the positive and then test these three yellow lines and you sh it, you want to put it in about 200, uh, 200 ohms and you want to test to see what your resistance is and if you get an even resistance number across all three yellow yellow lines uh, it should read about 4.6 to 4.9 that means your rectifier is okay um, I, I'm having a problem with spark so right now I just bought a new battery and right now I am waiting on it to do its thing. I've got to charge it all afternoon and probably right before I go home for, uh, for the day, it's Friday, so I'm kind of wanting to get out of here. Um, I'm gonna try and start it off and see. I went ahead and disconnected these, this one right here and this one right here disconnected these two right here these go to your electrical supply from your magneto which is right there sorry for the bright light I was up under there I need to test the magneto to see if I'm actually putting out any electricity when I first started it up I was just kinda of jumping it off and um, I wasn't getting any spark I was I was getting compression um, getting air Obviously, I don't have the air box, but the carburetor was pulling, um, and I, I just I, I wasn't getting any spark. So I've been slowly, slowly diagnosing spark and no spark issues. So now I have a actual battery to use, and I'm going to see what we got going on because when I do actually hook a power pack up to it, I'm not getting anything. This is the harness. For the ignition, as you can see, the ignition looks like it's already been punched and it will turn over and the neutral light and everything does come on so that leads me to believe it is in the on position but I am actually going to buy a harness and do away with the actual ignition and key It's just going to be push start. So another thing I'm worried about are these buttons, okay? The start button, when I had it hooked up to the jump pack, just doesn't work. I think all this is just been sitting out in the sun rotting um, the high low beams it, it yeah it doesn't work turn signals when I hook power to them doesn't work the horn button is all gummy like I said I just need to take these off and redo it but besides that the bike's only got 24,000 miles on it and it's in fairly good shape I am gonna have to buy new tires those are just just ugly and dry rotted and I'm gonna have to do some wiring work this I don't know if this these splices in here are from the factory I, I don't know if they're supposed to be like that but whoever spliced them in did a damn good job they use these crimp tie focus they use these crimps crimp ends so it makes me think it's factory done but I could be totally wrong uh, please leave a comment if you know or don't know but I will get back to you as soon as I turn it over I'm going like I said I'm going to test the um, take the electricity from the magneto see if I'm actually getting anything while I'm turning it over but uh, yeah it actually is turning over next step is to take the carburetor off and clean it because I can guarantee as much rust 
that was in the gas tank and as much rust as was in the petcock and in the reservoir I can guarantee you that 20 year old carburetor is trashed so I'm gonna have to clean it out and take it out and clean all the jets out and watched a couple movies on YouTube last night about how to do it so we'll see how it goes but uh, if you like my videos please subscribe like I said this is the 97 Kawasaki Ninja 250R project slowly but surely I think I can spend probably around two hundred dollars and get it back up and running probably gonna have to order a new wiring harness this harness is just seen better days so thank you subscribe